What is going on? This is Alton, and today I have the pleasure of sharing with you the new Holystone HS. 360e i've had an opportunity to take this guy out and fly it and it was a very ple pleasurable experience i'm gonna tell you and of course i thank holy stone for sending this guy out to me for me to try it out and have some fun with so what comes in the box of course holy stone hs 360e it does have brushless motors then of course it comes with one battery your controller with the built-in battery and this is a very familiar looking controller isn't it you have three connection cables for your mobile device to connect to the controller a single battery and a battery charging dock you get a quick start guide and your user manual and of course you get also an accessory package that includes additional props and a screwdriver as well as your USB-C charging cable for your controller. Now you get a carrying case with this guy as well. It actually comes with a strap and this is actually a good quality strap for the case in order to be able to carry it around with you very easily. But the Holy Stone HS 360E is a really nice little drone because it's very similar to the Holy Stone HS 360S. But this does have a 4K camera and it does transmit 4K footage, video and photo back to your mobile device. But it also captures just a little bit better than 4K photos directly on the SD card that is not included. So it does have an SD card slot on the bottom and that SD card will take up to a 256 gig SD card. Now, the rest of this drone is pretty simple. You got your power button on the top end status LED, LED indicators. You also have one on the front of the drone as well. And then of course you have your shock mounted 4K camera that is angle adjustable from the remote. And it even has a optical flow sensor on the bottom and your motors are brushless motors as well. Then you have your controller. Your controller does have a display that it provides you with telemetry information like how much charge is left on your drone battery as well as on the controller battery. Then you got a one key takeoff land button. You have your photo button and video button and a speed button so you can adjust the speed. You have a return to home button and your power button here on the side. On the top you have an angle adjustment for your camera and then on the other side you actually have a zoom control wheel as well. The very top is your mobile device holder and underneath your mobile device holder is where, you, where one of the three included cables will actually plug into your controller so that you can actually plug it into your mobile device as well. On the bottom is where your control sticks are stored which I think is fantastic and then you have a USB-C connection on the bottom for charging up your remote. So in the manual, they don't actually give us the information on what the flight time should be for your one included battery. And that's because everyone flies a little bit different. And depending on how you fly, that's going to determine how long your battery lasts. So for each individual, you or me, our flight time may be different based on the way that we fly. With that understanding, let's go through a couple of the specifications for this awesome little drone. This guy comes with everything in the box that you need to fly. You don't need an SD card, but you can use one. You can still get your video and photo back to your mobile device as long as you use the free downloadable app. So I've taken this guy out and I've flown it a little bit and I've had so much fun with it. And so I think it is a great one if you're looking for a nice drone to start off with that has a ton of features. So thank you so much for coming by and checking this guy out with me. I really appreciate it. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.